Today we're taking a three hour long bus ride along the Pacific coast of Ecuador from the surfing village of Montanita to the city of Guayaquil. Though not actually its capital city, Guayaquil is the largest city in Ecuador with a population of 2.65 million. This is the Miami Beach of Ecuador right here. Look at this one, they're like, we're gonna make a lot of money out of this building yeah, so when it's coming. done. We are staying in the nicest part of Guayaquil, and this is typically where tourists would find accommodations. But the slums are always just around the corner, so you do need to be aware of where you're going. We were on the eighth floor, so we had this beautiful upper look. Now, because um, Equidaddy is here. <laughs> Equidaddy. Uh, now they upgraded us to the 14th floor, where, you know, I know the deal is. What's out there? What's out there? Wave to the people, blow them kisses. <laughs> The city of Guayaquil is generally seen as an unsafe place for travel due to its high level of crime. Beautiful scenery and brightly colored buildings are a bit deceptive as you need to be cautious here. Kidnappings and armed robberies are commonplace in Guayaquil as much of the city is controlled by powerful drug cartels. Directly across the street from our hotel is one of Guayaquil's local television stations. When we were here months earlier, there was an incident where a gang stormed the station and took hostages all while on live TV. Grind them dirty feet. Grind them. Grind them. <laughs> Scratch them bug bites, you know? <laughs> Just a little bit. Don't but wait a second. <laughs> He's co you're covering your whole cell, eh? Like, you think you camouflage in the... Yeah. I'm original. Like I can't still see your legs, man. <laughs> I know you're there. Just a little bit. Where's Jonathan? Just a little bit. Do a little flamingo dance, man. Yeah. Flamingo, that shit. <laughs> <Flamingo -less. laughs> <laughs> you know, El Scorpion and El Flamingo. <laughs> El Flamingo. <laughs> We're now going to sit down for some traditional Ecuadorian fish soup in the hope that it might sober us up a little bit. I called my son, I told him, you know, that. Here, use the soap. I put the, the dish soap is in there. That's it's for to clean up the floor, you know? Is that what it's for? Yeah. Can't it. tell. We have dish soap. We have dish soap. That's it. <laughs> it's like, it's well, it good yet? to know. I was no, washing my hands with that shit. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> That's for cleaning the floor. I was going to give you soap to, to wash your hands. I knew it looked kind of thin, you know? I'm like, it doesn't look like dish soap. <laughs> It's not supposed to be wash your hands. Oh, uh, that's good to know. Yeah, your brain, it, huh? it keeps it 24 hours fresh. It should have been an indication, no. you know? Okay. Okay. Some soap for your hands. 24 hours that's fresh. That's what yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I you, use, you use now. Yeah. I, I never use it. I don't he know. never uses it. Yeah. It's a real man. It's a real yeah. man. No, I don't, <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want you to get... Listen, this is the way you do it, right? Put Some lemon. plantain. That means it's good, right? Put a lemon, right? Let's take this thing out, right? Wait, okay. Because you're gonna eat probably this and you're gonna be in the stomach, right? So, what we do this is put it in the lemon. Lemon, lemon seco, that's fucking dry lemon, you know? <laughs> Sold you some old lemon. You're strong for it. Right. Yeah, for sure. Let me sure. take this back out, right? Oh, is this all for me? Yeah, yeah. It's so hot. Good yeah. lord. Yeah, then next, if you want this, is mustache. I'll try it, you know. Tomato ketchup, you don't f***ing put that. Do you put this in there when you eat it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then I get better. This is a I'll use it. Platano, we use this sometimes. You know, people over here, traditional, right? Okay. We put a, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do Hot sauce and here. mustard, eh? We do this, that way she do. Okay. Right? Yeah, crush it up. Crush it up. Crush it up. Put it in there and you okay. eat it, man. Eh? All right, man. Go ahead, you know. <sighs> it's yours. And crush you me up, Johnny. Crush me up. The idea was hers. I that idea, you know. I'm gonna buy some. Uh, maybe <laughs> there him, we go. Uh, we call him cebollado. Okay. I miss it cebollado. It's kind of shrimp and all that. All right. You gonna enjoy. Hey, no. I put that in there. With oil. Oh. Good. Mira. Delicious. 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 Very good. You can see fucking hey, you know, Yeah. What else? Hell yeah. Okay, put a, you, you 
That's good, man. No, it's the, it's the best. Yeah. So I wasn't sure what to expect, but this is really nice. That's what I want really to nice, you eat over there. Is this fish here? Yeah. yeah. No? This is fish. And this is fish too? This is fried yeah, fish? Calamari. Calamari. Got it. Good. Very good. Get in there. Go ahead, you know. No problem. Oh, yeah. Nice and warm. The picante. Good, man. I, I like you like. Nice man, like nice. Thank you. you know? Very good. Like enjoy, right? Thank you. Gracias, hey. Thank you. We're gonna take a few minutes to cool down in the rooftop pool before we hit the streets of Guayaquil. Are you guys here? What up, Jude? Come. <laughs> Come. Come with me to Guayaquil, my boy. Come with me to Guayaquil. <laughs> Ready? Go. Motorcycles are commonly used to facilitate robberies in Ecuador. Passing criminals will either snatch things out of your hand or stop and hold you up. They'll then use their motorcycle to enact a quick getaway. One common tactic people use here to avoid having their things stolen is to walk against the flow of traffic. This gives you time to see anyone coming towards you and time to act if they stop. We can buy the bus station and the gas station, okay? Right. If someone tries to take my phone, they better have a gun, or I'm gonna punch them in the d Then we can cross the line and see uh, Let's go, let's go. See it all, see it all. So, right. Hello, how, how are you? Is, uh, how much is the jacket over there in China, right? Uh, about $200 over here, you can, <laughs> we can, you can find it here for $80. Really, eh? I'm gonna take you there so you can see all right. it. Right? It's common in many places of the world to find pinned insects as souvenirs for sale. So I've learned the hard way that customs will usually take these upon trying to leave the country. Shop owners will often try to convince you that it's fine to take these home with you, but this is just a lie. They're going to say whatever they need to in order to make a sale. My initial excitement turned to disappointment as I realized that there's no ice cream and that the garbage trucks in Guayaquil play happy music for some reason. This is Parque Seminario, a famous landmark in the middle of Guayaquil. This park is home to a massive lounge of iguanas, and people come here to feed and interact with them. I'm not entirely sure how they got here, but they're not confined to the park. They choose to stay here. The species whisperer. These iguanas are quite accustomed to human interaction, and their decision to stay here probably has something to do with the abundance of bananas they're fed. His disciples approach. This How do you yeah, feel, man. Species Whisperers? He's like, you ain't charged here. Yeah. Wow, I'm a f***ing man. I have to do with that torso. There's a torso to it. Hey, I don't. It's scary, you know? Yeah. It's scary because they're afraid. That, they're afraid, you know? They keep away from you because probably they're there, you know? Yeah. You see them? 
What? What? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Around, man. I'm getting closer to you. It was great for that. Look, he likes it. See that shit? Yeah, he loves it, man. They like it. Hey, you want some too? You want some? They love it, man. Just like a dog, you know? <laughs> this guy's a boss. It's generally a good idea to wash your hands after touching iguanas because they are known to carry salmonella. But considering I just spent the last two weeks walking through the mud, barefoot, in the slums of Ecuador, I think my bigger concern right now is hookworms. Big boy. Big boy. Not entirely sure what the issue is as I don't speak Spanish, but apparently this policia is upset that I picked up the iguanas. Okay guys, as we were saying before, you know, the species whisper is here, locking it down. How do you feel about that? I feel good, I feel good. I like them, they're cute, you know? Look at that guy. Yes. It's all the American squirrels right here. Yeah. Look at those. Pick one up and put them on my shoulder, but apparently you're not supposed to do Little that. Little bebas. <laughs> yeah. Security comes over and they like, don't f around, man. Don't f around. Well, security doesn't know what they're talking about. Yeah, they're they don't know of... who the species whisperer right. is. They don't know who I am. Can you, can, you, can you do the call for them? Do the species call? Look at them. Meditation state. This is Luis here, the best dressed man in Guayaquil. Best dressed man in Guayaquil. Look at him. On top of being family and a great tour guide, Luis also doubles as a bodyguard. And he's there to knock out anybody who gets too close. Good pork, man. Indeed. Good times. I'm gonna get something else right around the corner. Peace. You know, I think I'm okay. I should just calm myself down. There you go. I give it to it. Three for you. I'm I'm gonna drink it here, but before I leave, I'm gonna piss in it, no, and I'm gonna no, fucking no, put no, it no, on the no, table. No, no, <laughs> he doesn't know me too well, you know. <laughs> he thinks I smile, and then I, the difference between me and him is is tattoos. Okay? And more teeth. <laughs> tattoos and more teeth. This is uh, like I said, it's my security blanket. When I leave. I don't want to leave with no alcohol, you know? Because then I'll get angry. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Whether I drink it or not, doesn't matter. What matters is that I have it with me. Yeah. yeah. Here, you put them on. Stylish. Try them, try them. They look good with your look. Yeah, they look good, right? You look like you're selling cocaine. They're for no, no, they're they're for you. You take them, take them. Poppy's got to keep them. Those are yours now. Yeah, they're hey, they're yours hey, now. Say Canada, you got the juice now. You put them on. Yeah, they're nice. They're nice. Rock them. Look, they look they look hard, bro. They look hard. Look at that's a good look. I'll give. I'll pay you. All right, good look. I'll pay you. They look good. Oh. <laughs> you got the juice now. <laughs> you got the juice now. Hey, remember, you got the juice now. You want to smoke?
See you later. Want one? No, it's okay. Cool. Oh, let's go. So I my weight, man. Okay. Now Wait for what? F him. Oh, okay. You probably don't mind. Oh, over here. We'll go after. I need to go here. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. I saved your life. All right, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Sadly, it's time to pack it up and head back to Toronto. This has been my second excursion into Ecuador, and hopefully not the last. The next adventure is always around the corner. Ecuador is a beautiful country, and overall, it felt pretty safe to me. But where you go in the world, and how safe you are, is always dependent on the mutual respect you show people around you.